Welcome to another GB Camper Conversions van tour video. Uh, firstly, if you want to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and just click the little notification bell for the next video that we put up. First things first, we are now doing personalised cushions, t-shirts, anything that can be printed on, maybe even the curtains or even the actual upholstery. So that's something to look out for. They can be personalised or we can just put you something on there just for your beautiful micro camper that you've got or any other camper in that fact. Let's get on with what we've done in the Vauxhall Combo long wheelbase. So just touching on the layout that we've done in this one then, normally we do the L shape and this part is down at the front end behind the driver's and passenger's seat, but we've inverted it this time. This is on the customer's request. Now with it being a, the long wheelbase version of the van, we can get 1800 in length now without having to extend forwards behind the driver's and passenger seat. The bed is only one operation this time instead of two. Like I say, normally we have that bench seat here, which has to extend that way. It's just literally this one long bench seat. We've got two handles on it. If we pull, let it meet the unit. That's as simple as it is. This is the infill and that drops straight in there. We got 1800 long there by 800 wide. So nice, decent sized single bed for the single traveler. So to put it away, it's just a very simple, the same again in reverse, pull that infill out. Now I've been sliding it up against that window box and then just literally slide that bed frame back in. Might want to just lift that up. Those runners will lock into place. Job done. I mean, that is quick. So nice and simple operation, decent sized bed, nice seating area to start. Right, equipment wise in this particular vehicle then, as you can see, running from the end there, we've got the stainless steel sink, nice size, 320 by 260, with a single tap cold water supply, which we get access to the back, which I'll show you shortly. Coming along next in line, we've got the Vitrofigo 20 litre top loading fridge. Stainless steel inside, still got all the cellophanes on that needs taking off. But that decent depth in there, decent sized fridge for a few nice items. Stand your bottles upright. And then coming along to the last piece is an electric induction hob. Which again, it's just for a single, single pan, but that's quite sufficient in a little van like this. Uh, storage wise, we have the single cupboard on this unit. So that's a fair old size for a cupboard. You can get quite a few items in there. Extra storage on this one. We've got, now again, because it's the long wheelbase, you get a much longer window storage box. So that is plenty of space to get a lot of soft items, bagged items. There's one there on the passenger side, and then there's one this side on the driver's side. So two nice extra bits of storage. The other bit of storage on this one, now underneath this seat box, is where all the electrical components live, which we'll go through in a minute. I'm just gonna show you the other piece of storage. I said about the sink, and you've got the fresh and waste containers. They live inside this cupboard. So we've got our fresh with a submersible pump, and then we've got the waste container with a waste pipe going in there. Decent size opening to get the bottles in and out empty your waste, fill up your fresh. They're just a couple of gas canisters for the portable gas stove, which we'll come to later. So this could also be used, if you don't intend on using the sink, if you're going on a day trip, that can also be used to store. Just take the containers out and put some stuff in there. Then the last piece of storage on this, so this is the internal external table. I'm just gonna pop that on the seat. 
The extra bit of storage, now like I say, this seat is normally down the front, and this is what normally houses all of our electrical items. Well, we were asked to make this just empty, for storage, so it's got a little drop down door for that bit of extra storage. Another couple of nice touches is the magazine nets. So again, it's surprising what you can get in there. A nice book, maybe pop your phone in there at the end of the night. So as you can see on this unit, we've got an array of electrical items. Oh, that was a good word, wasn't it? Uh, we've got two, two 240 volt sockets, twin USB socket, the 12 volt power socket, and then your light switch, which as you can see, we've put two LED lights in the ceiling and that lights it up quite nicely. We put a couple of extra items on this van as well. Uh, one of them being the partition curtains. So these are pre-made. I have mentioned it before that they are just partition curtains pre-made for the Volkswagen Transporter, but they fit most of the vehicles that we do. So just release your tie backs pull your curtain across it's got the press studs in the middle so you get that nice bit of privacy and then we've got the same at the front just release your tie backs then you get your privacy curtain and then you've got your center press studs as well for that nice bit of privacy the only windows that need covering on this vehicle are the two side loading doors which i believe they're going to get the uh, thermal blinds that you can get that just stick to the window for that all-round privacy but it looks really cozy in here you've got the curtains up there you've got no window no light coming in through the storage boxes on the side yeah it looks really nice and cozy a different layout to what we normally do uh, but i think it really really works well and it it is down to it being a long wheelbase that we've managed to do what we've done. So we've got a good access still getting in through that side door. Okay, now you can't very easily get in and out of that back door, but you can if you wanted to. So we have put the push button on the back door so that when you sat in there, you can still get out. Like I say, you can if you wanted to. There is the push button, just a case of press it push the back door away it's on dampers so it'll just make its way up anyway and you can swing your legs round and just get out if you wanted to so there is that option although like I say this is a customer's vehicle and it was their request that we just blocked off the back for them but really nice uh, finish to this van I will say there's plenty of equipment in here really decent sized bed lots of items everything that you really need um, sink fridge your cooker now okay the cooker is wired only to the mains but this does have um, again some extra uh, equipment that we have fitted we've fitted a uh, solar panel to the roof a Renogy solar panel so that's a hundred watt solar panel that will just keep the leisure battery topped up nicely when you know obviously we've got a decent day also in here is a dc to dc charger with it being a newer kind of vehicle it's got the smart alternator so whilst they're driving they'll be getting a charge that way um, it has got mains electric so underneath the back is the mains inlet uh, we've got a consumer unit um, rcd protected consumer unit with double pole breaker in there and a charger transformer so that will, when you're plugged on site, or even at home, you will get uh, your leisure battery charged via the mains as well. And then the last piece of equipment that they had was an inverter. So it's a 4,000 watt inverter, only 2,000 continuous though. Um, that's ample enough to run some small appliances. It's got an AGM leisure battery as well, a little bit better than the lead acid, but it just gives you that little bit more um, a little bit less discharge, a little bit more of a continuous power output being an AGM. So that is all kept under this seat. Uh, and then, like I say, the hub is only for a mains camping. But if you're going to go off grid, 
everything else works absolutely fine which brings me to the last little piece that we fitted and that is on the side of this seat box now again you don't get in and out of this side so it's absolutely fine being there is just a portable gas stove so nice handy little place it's out of the way hey up it's upside down nice portable gas stove so that's ready if you're wild camping you can use that you can use that on the tables which we'll come to now so this has got two tables that you can use one is just a lift up table that's on the end of that unit so you can plug up either your appliances into your inverter or you can use any of the sockets on the front put your appliance on there and use it okay it's small but it's handy just to flip up use it and then just flip it back down when you're not using it the other table is on the back door so let's show you that this second table is for your dining table so it's your main table um, and it's just stowed away across the back there it doesn't go anywhere that's a little stopper stopping it it's on the pivoting leg and we put two places for this to be used one is onto this rail that's going across this back door they just literally hook on adjust your leg to the height that you need it that can be slid up and down this can now be used outside the other place that this can be used again for your dining table is inside so as you can see we've got another rail there just lift that leg up a touch drop it on your rail there do the leg up and that now can be used up and down that rail and can be used inside so that's ideal as well you can either sit here and have it just reach around the back pull it over hook it on you can sit here do a bit of washing up move it back this way do a bit of cooking put the lift up table up there for your pots on the end serve your food up on your your main dining table and away you go but loads of stuff going on in this little micro camper really nicely finished off yeah really really proud of this one very nice job thanks for watching the video you can contact us on the website at www.gbcamperconversions.com there is an inquiry form on there there's a contact number get in contact we'll see what we can do for you uh, and we'll see you in the next one thanks again